In this video, I'm going to show you how I attempt to restore this window trim right here. Uh, this is a metal trim that has a rubber plasticized coating over the top and on the passenger side here it's peeling away from the metal and flaking, breaking off and then the metal underneath is rusting. So we're going to do a technique that was taught me, taught to me by uh, one of the forum members, Scott. Uh, so kudos go to him on this project and I'll get it all the way so you can see it. Rolled down the window for a little better view. But I'm going to take a knife, box knife, and then where it's, where it's sticking or where I can't flake it off like that, I'm going to cut it. So there is a weather strip right here that I'm going to try to keep intact. It's, it has gouges out of it. It's not in great shape either, but it is attached to this side. And it's not like I can go to Napa and get a new piece. These, they don't make anymore. So I have to try to keep this intact as much as possible and work with what I got. Okay, so it is a separate piece from that. So that's good at least. Perfect. Oh, it looks awful. Oof. <laughs> All right. So this does, this piece of, let's just call it plastic from here on out. It does cover this channel but it looks like this rubber weather stripping just fits down in it, so that won't affect anything. Here's a closer look and you can see what's going on here. So this, this plastic fits in that channel down here, but at least that's a separate piece from that weather stripping. This is going to work better with a little screwdriver instead of a knife. I don't have to cut it like I thought, except for the edges. Popping a pimple. It's gross, but you feel good after you do it. There we go. It's a huge strip. Perfect. The adhesive's just starting to pick up again over here. But we should be able to... This is the part where we can use the knife.
So I'm kind of using a, a sawing action for this last little part. It's the only part on this whole strip where the adhesive was still holding on. So it's actually sticking like it's supposed to. So I'm having to... It might work to heat it up with a heat gun. I don't have one. Not too concerned about scratching the metal. A, it's rusty anyway. But B, I'm gonna sand this up and paint it so it doesn't matter. Just as long as I don't jab the knife into the interior or the mirror, we're good. All right, so this turned out pretty good. I had to do a little bit of cutting down here to get a flush line, but this is all set to go. Made a little cuts right in this area. So we're gonna move on to the next door. Not a lot of stripping left on this one either, so we'll make a cut. Start from this end, work our way back. Okay. Use our screwdriver. All plastic, not a lot of, not very pliable. Keep flinging pieces across the garage here. Let's try this. I think I did this on the other side. I made a cut behind. I think it helps loosen it up. Wedge. Yeah. Okay, let's see if that does anything. That might help. There we go. Progress. There we go. Now we're doing it. Oof. That's when I stabbed myself. Ugh, that was close. Fast forward from this part, you kind of get the idea. Cut, pull back. While I'm here, I'm probably just gonna put a little silicone behind here. This wants to come off, and I'm not sure if they make the clips for this. I think the clips are built in. 
I only have a few days to figure that out uh, before Radwood anyway, so more of a temporary fix until I can at least figure out if I can do anything else. So I'm gonna, gonna use some silicone and then I'm definitely ready for my next job at Mako. Uh, this took me entirely too long to tape off, but this is all taped off. Now I got a chance. I'm gonna sand this down, probably with a wire brush, and then maybe some uh, two or 400 grit sandpaper. Just rough this surface up, and uh, then we'll spray it with paint. Got it taped off and sand it down, scuffed up, and gonna use some filler primer and uh, let it dry and then we'll put some paint on it. Now we wait. Now we hit it with the black. It's the next day, let's pull the tape, see what we got.
five months later because I lost the footage. You can see the finish turned out pretty well. If I was to paint it again, I'd probably use uh, a matte finish. I thought the Rust-Oleum had enough uh, matte in it, but